what is it like going back to something that is iconic? Um, well, it was a big challenge, and I, I loved the notion that there was the greatest horror movie of all time, Halloween, right? And there were nine subsequent movies made, none of which were too good. Some better than others, but they were kind of lacking. Mm -hmm. And so I loved the challenge of could you, could we, we have a very specific way we make movies at Blumhouse, and could we kind of impose our system on this IP that's been around for so long and see if we could actually make a good Halloween? Queen of Screams, this is a moment 44 years in the making. With a big farewell party, and of course, when I die, it will say like it did with my mother, psycho actress dies, it'll say Halloween actress dies. I'm in full acceptance and pride of that. Forever is that she never gave up. And never giving up, that's a powerful legacy. I didn't find my calling until I was I was 34 years, 34, 35 years old. We did paranormal activity, and finally, everything made sense. Modeled on the paranormal activity model, which means we make very, very low budget movies. We give the directors an unusual amount of creative control for, by Hollywood standards. And turning them into blockbusters. Currently, the trilogy has grossed more than $470 million worldwide and counting. David Gordon Green is the creative force behind the Halloween trilogy. If you accept the opportunity of creative freedom, you have to surround yourself with, with collaborators that you trust. Jamie, is she's become a great part of the collaborative creative team. They first brought Curtis and Halloween back in 2018, picking up right after the events of the 1978 original, but not without the blessing of the film's creator, John Carpenter. What did the success of that 2018 film tell you about the secret sauce that Blumhouse seems to have? It's blood, baby. Halloween Havoc, the movie franchise that stabbed itself to death. Yeah, let's cover some things here with the Halloween, the new trilogy. That's all I'm covering is this new trilogy by Blumhouse, uh, by Pump House, by Bum House. Uh, you know, I want to talk with, about Halloween 2018. They really did it so well with two, 2018 Halloween. I was so happy, so everybody was excited. It banked a lot of money because the film was worth it. The film was worth watching. Um, it had great gore, but not on top of the gore, just the gore. We, like, we come and know about Halloween. Uh, a lot of the story, too, was okay. There's some parts in there that were shit, but other than that, and we had a good Laurie Strode as well, and a great Michael Myers, a new Michael Myers, and the mask. So, a lot of new stuff, and they should have built on that, but let's cover Halloween Kills. They go to Halloween Kills, and it's just about kills, that's right. Um, and no story, same shit from other movies, from other Halloween franchise movies in the past. Same shit. Nothing new. Uh, remind me a lot of, you know, Halloween Resurrection in a way. They just dropped the ball here with a lot of the characters, and they don't kill off Lori Strode. They kill off her daughter instead. Um, that is a big mistake. They should have killed Lori off to have us tune in for Halloween Ends and do something different with Ends. They didn't. They go into Ends thinking they're doing something different and they just fuck it all up with a stupid story. Having Myers, someone do his dirty work for no reason and it like fill up his rage bar like in a video game until he's able to attack and kill finally. And even at that, he's not able to do it at all through the film. So you have a Michael Myers in Halloween Ends that doesn't kill. You come from kills to this, to ends, where it all ends with his killing. Uh, it's supposed to end with Laurie Strode, it doesn't. It ends with Michael Myers being killed by Laurie. Uh, wow, I'm just so out of breath because this is fucking a disgrace. Uh, and, and you know, this is where it killed the franchise, stabbed itself to death because you could have killed, should have killed Laurie, had Michael win, and that's what everyone wanted in the audience. Don't tell me any different. And if you can, tell me, leave a comment down below. The rumor of you would like to know your viewpoint on this matter of this trilogy by Bumhouse. Uh, but you know, so we're, we're talking that, and especially the townspeople as well, touching the body with everything that's going on in the world, and you're touching dead bodies, no one would do that. 
especially if a mass killer, uh, and they wouldn't do it that way. So, so unbelievable. And yeah, it's a movie, but you want to keep it so reality, which they did in 2018. So those are some points I wanted to cover uh, on, on this franchise, and it's just a big mistake. They pulled a lot of mistakes. I think they did like with Halloween 3. Like I said, Halloween Resurrection. They pulled it out here with Blumhouse. And uh, yeah, Halloween Ends just stabbed itself to death. You stabbed yourself. You did. Yes, you did. Uh, and that's it. So the end of Myers, the end of the franchise, really shit. So out of breath because I'm so pissed off about what I got to do a video on because I have to get it off my chest. We, the people have to know, the real fans, or even if you're not a real fan, fuck this franchise. Money grab all the way. Ends proves it by the budget and proves it by the, the, the statistics. But we're not going by that. We're just going by entertainment and real shit. So fuck Halloween, the franchise, Halloween kills and ends, and that's it. It's it's over. Halloween Havoc, the movie franchise that stabbed itself to death.